Well, as you can see, it's quite pretty rainy out here today. Um, today's March the 13th. Actually, it's Friday the 13th. Um, and we're in the middle of a coronavirus epidemic going on in the world right now. We're hoping we're going to get a turkey season. But uh, anyways, we, me, Cody, and Larry decided to get a few of our guns, come out here and out in the country, try to get us some shots off, pattern our guns with different shells. And um, actually, we have quite a, quite a stack of guns. Um, before we get started, I'm going to pan over here and let them kind of show you the guns they got, tell you what ammo they're going to shoot. Then we'll get to shooting and we'll kind of do a review. We're not trying to say which one's better, which one's worse or whatever. We're just trying to see which ones are gonna work for us this season. And I, uh, I'll i let them tell what they got first and then I'll let you know what I got. All right, what we got here is a little old Remington 870 pump. It's my boy's gun, it's a 20 gauge. I think we got a full choke in there for him. I might try a modified too. He's shooting these little uh, double X's right now, 20 gauge. We might get him some long beards later just to try them out and see which one we like best. Uh, we've been shooting long beards a couple years, XR's, and we, we like them, they're good. That's gonna be my boy's gun. And then I'm gonna probably be shooting this old Benelli I got, Super Black Eagle, it's original. So I'm gonna try to shoot it. I got a Wad Wizard on the end of it. I'm gonna see how that patterns today. And then I got the old trusty, old faithful, old timey, Mossberg 835. We got original choke and we got old Mad Max, them Dury boys. That's one of their old chokes. I got it in the truck. We're gonna try it too. See how we like it. We shoot number fives. We got some double X's here, some Winchester double X's. I'm just slinging lead with them to see what the pattern's like. And mostly we'll be shooting these Magnums XR. So, Coach, we're gonna be shooting these little four shots. Maybe some fives. I'll try them out later. That's all my guns I'm shooting. Trip and Cody can show you what they got. I'm shooting a dependable Remington 870 pump. I got a Indian Creek uh, Super Full for a choke. I'm shooting a long beard three and a half, five shots. And I'm just gonna see how it patterns. Hopefully uh, it patterns good like I think it will. Uh, first I'll show you what I got. This is my old Turkey Edition Winchester model 13, I think it's a model 1300. Yep, uh, two and three quarter and three inch. And this, like I said, this is a turkey edition. Beautiful gun. I got it off my uncle a few years ago. Bought it from, from him. And uh, killed a few, actually almost all of my turkeys with it. And I love the gun. Just got the old Undertaker choke in it. Full choke, super full choke I think is what it is. And uh, so this is my old faithful. What I love. And I'm gonna be shooting the Winchester Longbeard XR five shot, uh, three inch Magnum. And uh, I thought I had just got the idea the other day. I was looking through my gun case and I realized I had this old New England Firearms breakaway 20 gauge um, single shot. And I got this gun. This is my first shotgun that my uncle Matt got me for Christmas years ago. And all I've killed with it is several squirrels. And uh, actually I used to get it so hot back when I was squirrel hunting, I'd get into the squirrels so bad that I wouldn't even be able to eject a shell. And that's kind of what the memory I have of this gun. It shoots three inch too, the modified barrel. So I bought me some, these are the cheap Winchester Double X shot from Walmart. I think it was just $5.86 for this box. So I was like, well, I think it'd be pretty cool to try to lay a turkey down with this. So I'm gonna do the pattern with it and see if I like it. Well, you ready? You ready, Trip? Yeah. Hey, when you're ready. I'm good. It looked good. It's wide. Yeah, it's pretty wide, but it looks good. That's a dead turkey. 
Yeah, he's a little. It's a broad pattern, but it's not a. It's just a regular full choke. It's not turkey choke. Hang on. Well, I'm saying 20 yards. That's good. I wouldn't shoot much much further than that. He'd get nervous. Yeah, you see me jerk? Gun gun malfunction. That's what it is. It's a big turkey. I'll be. You ate him a new one. Look, we got a big oh! one. Too bad you can't tell. No. <laughs> oh. That should be fairly tight. Oh, yeah, pretty good, but you hit him low. Huh? You hit him kind of low. Your yeah, big, a little bit low, but your big part. Him. Part of the right there. But, I mean, you got it. Hobo. Little high, little ho. We all the way out to 50 now. Yeah, he's got down a pretty good poke. Yeah, it's pretty. Look how far that is. Here, Bo. He don't even pop you know, up on the camera. Alright, Alright, I'm ready. Come on, old Cody. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, he's got. Well, shoot, it'll be better for me to stand. Hey, up. you can stand that thing. There you go. Well, I tell you what. You ready? Yeah. Y'all think that's a dead turkey from back, back there? I'm not gonna leave no trash on you. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, that yeah, looks. That, hey, I'm pretty impressed with that. Yeah, at 50, yeah, that looks about like my 20 gauge that's at 20. Pretty, <laughs> that's pretty impressive. Yeah. For that's a dead turkey. For a 20, for about 20 dollars shells, you can't beat that. 50 yards. Hey, long beard XR, 50 yards, baby. Pretty good. Uh huh, I saw you. Looks like you shot high. Yeah, I thought that's what I thought, but I didn't. Not know. I aimed a hair high, so I hope that. That makes a boy a man right there. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Was he, did you, was you shooting three inch? Yeah. All right. All right, Trip, try to hold it up. That's I'm a big difference in that 20 gauge and 12. Yeah, heck yeah. I think that's what I did on that first shot was I pulled a little bit. I think I ain't got nothing to worry about. I think mine's shooting. Yeah. I think I'm it's, shooting good. Because even, hey. You just aim it here but, hey, instead even, of here. But I shot too high. And even when I shot too high, I didn't shoot way high, like super. You know what I mean? Like high enough I would jack. Oh, it would have killed him. But right. I mean, oh, your pattern was above it. You got that off? No, I'm, I've got it recording. But I'm going to, because I'm going to try to see his little deal out there. I look at him trying to get you. I told you I saw it. Hey, too late. Did you miss him? No, I got him. I don't know. He's probably gonna run for a few steps. <laughs> well, we forgot to do a quick little recap about what kind of what shotgun shot the best for us. Uh, you want to start us off telling what you're gonna use and what you learned? Well, I uh, I learned that uh, at 20 yards, mine shoots a little bit higher. It could have been me pulling off a little bit, but I know at 20 yards to try to aim as lower on the head as I can. My gun patterned fairly well, but Larry's gun, he had a just a regular factory choke and it patterned just as good, if not better, than mine did. So, I mean, it's it eye opening to seeing that you don't have to spend a lot of money on chokes to get, you know, the most out of them. So. Yeah. Well, one thing I also heard you say a while ago is see, we've never really done a lot of shooting before turkey season. We just took our guns and took the, what the, we took everything's word for it and just went hunted. And I mean, we killed turkeys and stuff, but we don't know exactly how our guns shoot and each one's different. And uh, you were just telling us a while ago how, what was it, at 20 or 30 yards, I think it was at 20 when it was super close, he you, shot, a you shot a little high. So now he knows if a turkey comes in within 20 or closer, he needs to aim just a hair low at the bottom part of the neck and he's got I'd it. be dead on. 
and you'll be dead on. And see, that's the kind of stuff we learned. And I learned shooting my little 20 gauge, to be honest, it didn't really have a very good pattern, which is a modified choke with cheap shells. And I mean, I didn't learn a whole lot. I kind of expected that, but I really don't know if I will take it out, to be honest. <laughs> But, uh, that's why you do it though. If I know if the turkeys are working good and I got a good chance of it, I probably will if I know I can get them in there close because I still think it would kill one. There were several BBs in the head area. And then my 12 gauge did about the same as I normally do. Um, I feel comfortable, real comfortable all the way up to a 40. And past that, it's not as good, but I do think I could kill one. I've killed one there that far before. So I'd like to keep them from 40 under. It's kind of what I'm thinking. I shot one at the one I shot at 50. I was pretty, you know, pretty pleased with how it shot. It patterned about dead center, so I know yeah. that at 50, if I don't want to have to shoot that far, but if you I ever have to, it's yeah. good knowing that I'm confident yeah. knowing that I can. As long as it's yeah, it, 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 it's ethical is what we're right. saying. So. I mean, as many many pellets uh, pellets as Cody had on target at 50, he'd be good. Probably even out of upwards of 70. I mean, I, we wouldn't advise taking a 70 yard shot, but. I mean, I guarantee you at 70, he'd probably still have pellets and paper yeah. actually in the kill zone, which is good. Yeah. So that, that choke and uh, shell combination he's shooting is really, really good. And like he said, I'm actually shooting a uh, factory turkey choke with my Ultra Mag. It's a Mossberg A35 Ultra Mag. And it come with a factory choke, and it's, I mean, it's a really good choke, man. So for all you people that can't go out and buy a lot of expensive stuff, that gun and choke combination, that's a, that's, that's a pretty good setup. So. Just get you some different shells, shoot a bunch of different varieties, whatever you can spend. Just, you know, save up and get you a couple different boxes and shoot around. And I would say that the XRs are probably better. Yeah, definitely. So, if you, I mean, it's a little bit more cost yeah, expensive. It's, it's not day. But uh, for the money, it's about the best well, probably on the market. Yeah. Well, yeah, for, 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 20 the, for bucks, the money, yeah. For 20 bucks, you're going to be getting their shells that you can pay 50 bucks for. And these $20 shells will work just as good. Yeah. You get fifty dollar, fifty dollar shells. You know, you got five shells for fifty something, fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Not knocking the shells because they're throwing a heck of a pattern. I mean, they really do, and they're heavy and they're good and they give you a lot of wiggle room. You know, but like they both said, for for what you're paying for those shells and the patterns we're getting out of them, upwards 50, 60 yards. I mean, you can't beat it with sticks. So that's kind of what we're looking at. We're gonna be shooting the long beard XRs, probably Magnum. Ain't that what we got there, Cody? Yeah, that's what I've been shooting. Yeah, there. That's, that's that's what's up. So we're gonna try her out. I hope we ain't gonna worry about no distance shooting. Yeah. We just have them come gobble, right. gobbling in right down yeah. here, 10, 15 yards. Well, the thing about having them closer, if we miss them, then we don't really have much of an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> no. At least if they're far, we have an excuse. If you yeah. Pull one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Cody, he's gonna be shooting that little 20 gauge, and what old Trip was talking about, his 20 gauge and Cody's 20 gauge pattern about the same. But we were shooting a little well, double X's. I yours, think. his has a little full choke in it. Now it ain't much, true. but it did make a little bit of a difference. That is true. Because mine's just a modified barrel. Right. So I did notice a little bit of a difference. Yeah, I think I was a hair bit tighter. Not not a lot, but we was both shooting, what? Double X's, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so. Them cheap double X's from Walmart. And I'll probably go ahead and get him a box of XR 20s yeah. and, and, and shoot it again. We bought them double X's because they're so cheap. It was only $5 and something for box for them, yeah. for them 20 gauge ones. And if that's all you got, that's all you got. They'll yeah. kill a turkey. They'll kill a turkey. They'll yeah. kill a turkey. But I would, th I do think that the XRs would probably be better. And they're, they're mid-range price level. They're not high. They're not expensive, but they're not really cheap either. But they're great for the price. Right. I agree. It's probably what I took from that. And I feel a lot more confident. And I'm just ready now. Me too, man. Fired I got the turkey up. fever. Oh. oh. I mean, Cody went to check in Kentucky today. Check the camera. Had some pictures of some gobblers on there. And while I was standing there checking my camera. A uh, whole group of a couple gobblers and uh, several jakes come walking right up on me. So they didn't spook too bad. They kind of pecked a little bit and walked out in the woods and left. But uh, man, it just was getting ready, man. It's about that time. Yeah, I know it. Got about another month. We used to just turkey hunt just to fill the void till deer season, but now turkey season is about just as yeah. fun as deer hunting. Yeah, we're getting into it. Hopefully, Lord willing, as old river will stay down. We we had a lot of trouble here the past couple years with the river being up. So hopefully, the river go down, stay down. We can we can get us a bird down here in these Missouri river bottoms. Yeah, Booty if, if y'all are hunting anywhere down here in the southeast part of Missouri, or even over into Kentucky, or anywhere where the Mississippi River affects, uh, and if you watch this, I hope you are, uh, comment, let us know kind of how your season's going too, because yeah. we like to talk to people constantly about what's going on in our area. You learn something new every year. Yeah, every year. But uh, stay tuned, and hopefully we'll be back with you here soon. Got several videos gonna be coming at you.